North Korea confirmed the projectile launched on Tuesday was a Hwasong-12, an intermediate-range missile the regime previously used to threaten to fire at Guam. Pyongyang claims this is a significant prelude to containing U.S. forces on the island, warning it will keep an eye on Washington's words and actions. Wu jung looks into the Hermit Kingdom's statement. North Korean state media released the footage of the missile fired on Tuesday and confirmed its type as Hwasong-12 intermediate-range ballistic missile. According to Pyongyang state-run Korean Central News Agency on Wednesday, the missile launch was conducted as an armed protest against the South Korea-U.S. annual joint military drill, Ulji Freedom Guardian. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, who watched and guided the missile launch, stressed that this drill is the North Korean Army's first step of military operations in the Pacific, as well as a significant prelude to containing the U.S. territory of Guam. Kim also stated that Pyongyang will continue monitoring Washington's words and actions and conduct further ballistic missile launches targeting the Pacific to modernize and put into real use its missiles. Hwasong-12 flew over 2,700 kilometers, passing the Japanese island of Hokkaido before landing in the waters of the northern Pacific. Pyongyang claims the missile successfully hit its target area. The regime fired its projectile from around its capital area, which is quite unprecedented, as a missile launch failure could have led to massive casualties. Experts say through that, Pyongyang aimed to show off its technological stability. Hwasong-12 is the missile with which the North warned three weeks ago it would use to strike the area around Guam, home to a U.S. military base and assets. Tension subdued after Pyongyang didn't carry out its plan to fire four Hwasong-12 missiles into waters near Guam, but Tuesday's launch could be a message that its warning was not a bluff. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.